What's up guys? Sean, Leslie Silver Dummies. Gonna test my Lapco barrel with a couple of different extensions on it. <clears throat> uh, if you followed along and watched my previous videos, uh, I didn't actually notice in my last video, uh, after I added the, the sear spring from an M17 as a shim, my velocity is on par with what I was shooting at 1200 PSI HPA. So um, that's actually a marked improvement. So I can't wait to try it at some higher pressure and I do have a fresh 90 gram that I'm just dying to try. Um, but I, I really wanna try and extend that hammer pin first. And I also wait for those Chinese springs. Um, but any case, so this is the only barrel I have for a TMC. It is a Lapco 10 inch smooth bore. Hopefully you can see that. And I've taped the ports on it. Those ports are a source of lost pressure. So that's the reason I've taped them up. Uh, I'm going to shoot with a 12 gram again. Crossman, 3.7 gram riot balls. I, I I mean, honestly, I expect the velocity to be lower. This barrel is shorter than the factory. I think this is 12 inch. So I do expect the velocity to be lower with this Lapco. Uh, it is a tighter bore, but length is more important than bore unless it's completely overboard. And this one in particular between these two and the factory barrel is not significantly different. I will not be testing Berna Kinetics because off camera, I did try and put a Berna Kinetic through this 684. No go. Um, my velocity swing was all over the place. It was kind of just trying to empty out a CO2 that I had. But when I removed the barrel and tried to push one through, no bueno guys, it did not want to go. So it's only going to be rye balls in this Lapco barrel. I will retest the Berna Kinetics on the factory barrel in another video because I do expect them to be moving much faster now than that video with the failed shim spring. So, not talking. Somebody said the other day I did too much talking. What do you say? Chitter chatter, girls don't get at her, some goofy thing like that. And I just hit the fast forward button. But, any case. <laughs> 10 inch Lapco 684 bore, 3.7 gram riot balls. All right, 20. So definitely a reduced velocity. I'll just chrono three. Very consistent though. I keep forgetting to extend my stock. I end up doing this really short, tight shoulder check, which is not very conducive to uh, hitting your target. Shots on a 12 gram on the 19th, she sputters and quits. Let me take that guy out of there. That's just the 12 gram changer. I'll remove my barrel here. The test may be slightly flawed because I'm just gonna do this quick and dirty. We're gonna I'm gonna bang another CO2 in there. But first, I'm going to show you guys the setup, and then I'm going to dig those balls out of the trap. So there's a 10 inch Labco with a first strike mock suppressor. And if you don't know, now you know 
These mock suppressors do add, it's almost like adding a barrel extension. They are very overboard, uh, but it still is adding length. Like I said, length is important. I'll show you how that looks. It actually looks quite good because I've already trial fit some of this stuff to make sure I wasn't fumbling on video. <laughs> There you go. That is a 10 inch Labco with a first strike mock suppressor. Pretty good, right? And you guys, I know somebody's noticed that I'm never running any um, optics, flip ups, anything of that nature. When I'm doing these test videos, <coughs> pardon me, uh, I'm literally, I'm just, aiming for the trap in no apparent manner. Within 15 feet, if you can't hit that trap, you've probably got no business shooting one of these things anyways. Uh, <laughs> uh, but be known, my other markers that are done, sort of their modification cycle, are equipped with iron sights at the very minimum. <laughs> Actually, the only one of them has an optic. Uh, I, I'm, I'm a believer of at the range these are good at, iron sights are absolutely the best. They don't fail, and heck, even if they're off, I mean, at least you're looking in the right direction, right? You're not like this, <laughs> right? <laughs> Anyways, okay, let me uh, dig those out of the trap. We'll fire it off with uh, this mock suppressor on. All right, magazine is all loaded up. And let me measure this barrel again for good measure. So it is 12 inches, but you could argue, well, there's no argument. Control is 11 inches. So by control, I mean area where there's no porting or muzzle brake. So this is for all intents and purposes, an 11 inch barrel. This, on the other hand, is, it's going to be awkward for me to uh, measure, Let's see if I can, damn, it's going to be hard for you guys to see, I'm trying to do this, it's 13 inches, and with the porting tape, so essentially, this is 13 inches control. Very loose mock suppressor, but this will prove a point here that length does matter. <laughs> it's not always a bulk girth. Um, fresh 12 gram, new mega 3.7s. Three fifty six was the best on the 12 gram. 360 was the best on 1200 PSI, but only on the factory barrel. Both those numbers were on factory barrel. 12, sorry, 356 and 360. So uh, I'm expecting this to be higher than 360, but the numbers don't lie. Yeah, crazy. 330. I was totally expecting higher. Three twenty. Can't explain that one, guys. It's the first time ever I hit two numbers identical, though. Yeah, the consistency on this barrel is much better on the twelve gram. The marker is cold. Like I said, but I still don't, I, even if this mark was a little bit warmer, I'm not sure that I would expect another 30 FPS. So crazy that factory barrel is done as well as it has. Okay. Take this 
Where are you? Actually, I'll take the CO2 out as well. We will take the box of pressure off. Although it looks really cool, the factory barrel is still been better. This is what I'm looking for next. This is a hush shot. This is an eight inch hush shot. This is actually for a Tiberius barrel. So when, you, when I thread this on, you're gonna see, it doesn't quite thread on all the way, but it does mate up here very nicely. It just doesn't look visually appealing. So there is a very specific Lapco version that will, you know, it'll meet up properly with these threads and actually engage this O-ring here, which is just an anti, sort of a lock nut O-ring. So this is eight inches. It's bored at 0 0.70, which is probably the same as that suppressor. And for kicks, I brought out uh, this MCS guy that threads over it. And just for looks, guys, just for looks. So it's gonna be more of a sniper look. Or something like that. Oddly enough, it actually doesn't look that much longer. Uh, I should have done this differently here. Normally I lock tighten the threads on the end of this, otherwise it spins off as you're trying to tighten it. So I'm going to put the barrel in first. And then put on this guy. So it probably looks kind of crazy and long. Technically it is. That's a 10 inch barrel and an eight inch extension. The eight inch extension is ported. So it is not a control bore, so to speak. Uh, they are very small ports, but it is going to be a loss no matter what, as opposed to having one solid 18 inch, right? 18 inch barrel. All right, let's see what it does. All right, 18, 3.7 gram rab walls loaded up, fresh 12 gram. It's the only barrel I got. As I add barrels, this marker is still in its infancy to me. Um, if you knew how many barrels I had for that fit A5, it, you'd, your mind would be blown. Uh, the TMC barrel is an unusual animal. They do have adapters to take A5, Never had any success with adapters. I always find the, a large loss from using an adapter to a particular barrel and don't see many tests out there doing that and demonstrating that loss. It, sure, it's convenient to use your barrel and in paintball, that's perfectly fine. But in, in LL, we need every ounce of air you can get. And uh, the only other person I saw do that was Rune. Uh, he tested an adapter and it was garbage, essentially. So let's rock it. Cocked and locked. It's crazy. Maybe 32. Are you doing more? Two. One more. 328. It was even more consistent with the longer barrel. But damn. Sometimes even I'm surprised, man, when, when factory barrels do better. And you know, that's good for you guys, bad for me, because I end up spending money on barrels. I'll never accept the fact that that barrel is outperforming a hundred and whatever, $20 barrel. 
But if <laughs> you've seen the test, guys, all my tests so far, factory barrels coming out tops. And that light trigger spring, Ooh, baby. Maybe I don't need full auto. I can pull that pretty freaking fast now. Well, that's it. Probably not as helpful as some of my older videos with the M17, like I said, where I got a zillion barrels to try. Uh, but it is what it is. For now, you guys, if you got one of these, you got a TC or a, yeah, a Berta Mission 4, or you have the MCS Defender, or you have a TMC, like me. The factory barrel has been best so far. Catch you on the next one.